Hi everyone. We wanted to take you through a walk through this accidental garden that we have. Uh, we made this no dig garden about a month ago and we did that by placing cardboard down and then we put um, some uh, leaves and compost down that we had from last year and grass clippings. So we thought that, that we would kill the grass that's underneath her so that I could have this. This is going to be a very big flower bed next year. But we've had, um, this. we're calling this our accidental vegetable garden. And I'd like to show you why. Um, for example, here, um, it's hard to see, there is some type of melon or squash growing there. And here we have some sunflowers. We have several different varieties of tomatoes out here. I'm not even sure what all of them may be. But um, here is also, this is some borage. I grew borage last year in a very different part of the garden and I have a ton of borage growing up and of course the pollinators love it. Um, these tomatoes are, they look like uh, Brad's Atomic Grape. I grew those last year but I did not have seed to grow those this year so I'm excited that we're going to have uh, Brad's Atomic Grape tomatoes this year and of course their um, their dark color is from the anthocyanins and those are very good for you and the more sun that they get the the darker colors that they will be so there are quite a few Brad's Atomic Grapes in here let's see what else we have here are a couple of sunflowers uh, we've always fed the birds in this area so that's why we have this bird seed. And as you can see, that we just have a plethora of tomato plants in here. And there are several different varieties. We're just going to let them go and grow because the rest of our tomato crops have begun to fade already. Um, there are even cherry tomatoes in here. Um, there's more borage, um, many more sunflowers, and when uh, there are quite a few weeds in here as well. But when um, Bill comes around here, um, here's a squash. I think this one is called lemon or it has crossed with something else that I grew last year and it'll be a mystery squash. But there again, I've got another vegetable crop and none of this has been fertilized at all. And so we're incredibly excited to see what all grows here. And when Bill comes around here, you'll see there are a bunch of melons growing out here. And right now, they have a light green and a dark green skin. I am not sure what these might be. They could be Kajari melons, but I think they're a little bit large to be Kajari. But anyway, we're very excited to see what kind of late harvest that we have this year and see how long these tomatoes and the borage and the squash and the melons will last out here. And that may give me a clue in the future as to what to grow and when in our, in our vegetable gardens. So I may get... Um, a couple of seasons of uh, different vegetables just based on how this is growing this year. So I, we wanted to do a quick update and that's where we are so far. Thanks. 